you want to see an ensemble cast and some really beautiful outdoors areas, Joe Pickett might be for you. Hey everyone, this is David Stark from Watcher Pass. I'm here to talk to you about Joe Pickett, which is coming to Spectrum and Spectrum On Demand on December 6, 2021. It's going to be a series of 10 60-minute episodes, and the first three are coming on December 6, so you can get a good feel for the show and see if you really want to sink your teeth into it. It's based on a best-selling book about a game warden named Joe Pickett, who goes out to Wyoming to kind of pursue his dream job, and he's almost too good to be true. He's a really good father. He's a, a good decent cop, although he doesn't get as much respect uh, because he's a game warden. He's not like a full-on officer. Uh, and he's trying to, I guess, take over from this legendary game warden who just retired. And so the show is basically about him kind of feeling out this town, trying to get a feel for the job and also gain acceptance uh, from people and also about his family kind of uprooting their lives to come and let him pursue his dream. It's an interesting show. It's a little bit slow. My hot take is you know, I really like the cast and some of the characters, and it started to get better after the third episode. The third episode was where it kind of picked up, but before that, it was a little slow. And I actually didn't love the main character until the third episode. The first couple episodes, he was a little dry. But I think there's enough here that it's starting to get interesting, and I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. So I'm going to talk to you uh, about the things I liked and a, a few things I didn't like. There will be some spoilers, although there won't be a lot. I mean, I, I think I can get through this without that many spoilers, but just be warned, there might be some minor spoilers. But things I liked about this, the first three episodes, the first are the characters. And there's, there's a, a lot of different characters in this. There's Joe Pickett himself, who's kind of a too-good-to-be-true game warden. Uh, there's his wife, Mary Beth, who... It, she was a lawyer and she gave up her career to kind of help him pursue his and also to raise their kids. Uh, and I, I really liked Mary Beth's character, actually, because I think in a lot of shows, she would just kind of be the dutiful wife who takes care of the house and like takes care of the kids and makes sure that Joe has everything he needs to succeed. But in this show, she was a lawyer. And so she kind of gave up her career so her husband could pursue his, but she still has that skill set and that inkling. And after the, in the first few episodes, she starts to put those skills to good use, especially when the other character I really loved, Nate Romanowski, who's played by Mustafa Speaks, gets in the picture. And originally he's just seen as this kind of like uh, survivalist who's hunting out in the wilderness. But after he gets arrested for a crime, um, he opens up a lot. Like his character is a lot deeper, a lot more interesting than it's originally uh, allowed to be. And Mustafa Speaks does a really good job uh, with kind of highlighting this air of mystery and this kind of calm presence that I thought was a very interesting aspect and a, and a very kind of and a very engaging character. Uh, and so, you know, there, there are enough characters in here that you'll find some that you really like. You might like Joe Pickett. I didn't love him. And I'm going to go in that and the things I didn't like. I mean, Michael Dorman does a good job as Joe Pickett. It's, I, I don't think it's anything, any fault of his. I just didn't think the character was that interesting, but there's enough characters here that you will find some you like. I especially liked Mary Beth Pickett and Nate Romanowski. Um, the second thing I liked is the mystery. You know, there's, this feels like kind of a cookie cutter type situation. He's going out into the wilderness. He's going to kind of stop crime, that kind of stuff. But after the first episode, it's pretty apparent that there's more going on here. There's some sort of greater plot that Joe and I assume uh, Mary Beth and some of the other characters are going to have to uncover. And it, it kind of trickle feeds it just a little bit. So you get little hints here and there. And at least it shows that later on there will be some big revelations. And I'm kind of curious to see what those are because uh, it kind of it shows later on there will be some big revelations. And I like that the show is kind of giving you something to anticipate and to keep you coming back. And I'm, I'm really excited to see what those are. And the last thing I loved is the setting. The series is set in Wyoming, but it was filmed in Calgary, but it is beautiful. If you... Uh, miss being outdoors, if you miss traveling, this will give you that itch because it is just beautiful countryside, rolling hills, big green trees, just in a very quiet, peaceful area. And I really just love that. I love seeing some of these picturesque type scenarios and seeing just kind of these characters out in the wilderness. It was a really beautiful thing to watch. And I, you know, I think if you have any interest in nature or the outdoors, you're going to love it too. So things I didn't like, the first is Joe initially. I'm going to caveat that by saying initially. At first, he appears to be kind of just this like superhuman, super dad. He's like, he's, he's you know, straight edge cop. 
He is helping out with the family. He's kind of, you know, this too good to be true person. And I thought that that was a little dry and it felt a little too straight edge to be interesting. Now, in the third episode, Joe gets a little bit more depth. There is some sort of trauma in his past that you kind of get hints of. And his character becomes a little more interesting, especially in the third episode where he has kind of an extended scene with some other characters and it gets it kind of opens up a little bit. And I, I like that a lot more. Now, I will say, you know, I think Michael Dorn does a really good job. So this is not a hit on him. I think he's acting it perfectly. He's doing who Joe Pickett should be. I just didn't find Joe Pickett interesting in the first couple episodes. I liked the surrounding characters. I like the other characters and the other uh, people in this show a little bit more than the main character. Now, I think that that will change. I think it's going to open up, but I'm only three episodes in uh, and it's starting to turn. So I think this will get better, but initially, you know, Joe just didn't seem that interesting to me, but you know what? Maybe, maybe he will to you. And the second thing I did not love is the pace. Uh, this is a slow series. It's not going to be one that is super exciting. It's not going to kind of keep your interest with its action. It is a slower show. And I think it could be a little bit trimmed. I mean, the, the show is... 60 minute episodes i feel like they could trim a little bit off there's some scenarios i don't think needed to be in there um but i guess they add some color and some other characters as well so maybe maybe it's nice to have that but i just felt like the show was a little bit long and a little bit slowly paced maybe that'll pick up again after the third episode and i think the third episode is really kind of where it turned for me the first two were, were okay but a little bit you know they didn't really catch my interest the third episode is where it started to get really interesting and i think that maybe that will continue on i hope well you know we'll see i'm only three episodes in we'll see what happens in the fourth but the first three are a little slow so just keep that in mind this is going to be a uh, kind of a marathon not a sprint so that's joe pickett it's available uh today the december 6 2021 on spectrum and spectrum on demand it has a really good cast and some beautiful scenery so check it out so give the first couple episodes a watch try to stick it out through three if you're not interested initially because it, it does get better it gets more interesting thanks so much for watching if you liked this review please like and subscribe to this channel it helps me out a lot make sure all my new content goes straight to you and if you're interested in joe pickett i also have interviews with several members of the cast um they're up on the youtube channel as well check those out they were lovely people to talk to and they gave some really good insight into the show so thank you